Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV of Cast Blue. We are about to enter the Evelyn Cave, the limit of my Final Fantasy IV experience. The cave, that is. Oh, wow. And I do not have the ice land. Let's just, um... Let's just, um... Oh, yeah, I was afraid of that. So... Right, then. Kane is useless right now. Oh... I just did that. That's completely my fault. Curse? But, these are obviously skeletons, so this is probably going to kill them. Yep, that did rather well. So, I could leave now and go get, pick up my Frost Lance again for Kane, or could go straight in, in some more. Ha! Guess which one I'm doing. Yes, Steel Golem, not a skeleton. Oh, incidentally, this is around the time of the game you're supposed to be doing that dungeon. Or that castle. Evan Castle? Yeah. I bring this up for two reasons. First of all, the Steel Golem is one of the things you fight in that castle for treasure. The other reason is, that's where you get the Bloodlands, proving that the developers for this game were dicks. Because they give you a weapon, or try to at least, right before an area where it's not very useful. I mean, seriously. Kind of a dick move. Okay. Um, that goes down, so what's over here? Um... So I think it goes without saying, you'll be relying on Rydia pretty heavily for this dungeon. Things like... Bloody bats? No, things like those skeletons are very vulnerable to her fire, and more importantly... Er, and just, actually no, just as importantly, they're not going to be to particularly um, vulnerable to Cecil's Ice Sword, or Kane's Bloodlands for that matter. Meaning that Rydia is going to be your quickest solution to uh, dealing damage. There is a bright side to all this though. I got Osmos. <laughs> I actually got this just on the way out of the tower. Like, probably in the second to last battle, before I started a new video. But it's awesome, because you can give her that much more, um, casting time. I mean, look at that, you know? But that wasn't very effective. Okay, so... Vampire bats. Well, bloody bats, but... They're... Pretty good against... Huh. Let's try this. And this. Okay, they absorb lightning. What is with flying... And I'm losing HP. You see... You know what I really wish, though? I really wish Rosa had Osmo. I mean, Rydia with Osmos is really going to help, but I just really like the idea of unlimited healing. Ha ha ha, eat my whip. Let's just shoot it. 
Oh hey, that was a surprising effective shot for Rosa. I'm pretty sure the thing with arrows is, they have different l levels of accuracy. Vampire Fang. Wait, what does that even do? It, 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 drain. Okay then. What was it saying? Oh wait, just a sec. Can you equip? No. What was I saying? Um... I lost my trail of thought. Um... <laughs> okay then. A shru- A shruken? That's interesting. No ninjas with me last time I checked. Or anyone else who could throw that for that matter. What could that- what could this poor attempt at foreshadowing possibly mean? Stay tuned to find out. Except this isn't a commercial break, so... Continue watching to find out. I can remember what I was saying. So the good news is, it seems arrows are actually really effective against things that fly. The bad news is, I still don't know what I was talking about when I lost my trail of thought. Hey, who's that? Who goes there? Oh, humans? That's... ominous. What's in here? And... and in? Really? I'm not really too banged up, but why... What? 700 gil? <coughs> that is robbery! Yeah, I guess, okay. I actually sort of wish there was a safe spot, though. Seriously though, I'm almost at the point where using a tent is probably cheaper than all set. Th which is say using an N. What is this though? We are the proud people of Evelyn. With our castle destroyed, this is all that's left of our kingdom. Yeah, sorry about that. <coughs> and armor and weapons. I like the sound of... Yeah, that figures. Well, the bright side is... That's actually not too bad. Let's see... Hey, for those who use black and matte... No kidding. Um... And here, our staff. Apparently only Rosa can use that. That's a little weird. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Huh. A small katana used by ninjas. Call me crazy, but I think we're gonna get a ninja. Just throwing that out there. I mean, there's nothing specific, but, well, oh hey, poison arrows, probably not worth that, <coughs> let's do it anyway, <coughs> damn it, I don't know why I'm coughing now, I've been fine for the re whole rest of the mute arrows, are still my best arrows, actually. The only thing I'm worried about is that these won't be very good against skeletons, but honestly, honestly, 
I'm not going to be shooting skeletons anyway. That would be just asking for trouble. The survivors are hiding inside. We have only a little food left. I wonder how long we'll be able to survive. Again, sorry about that. Found a potion! Let's steal from <coughs> refugees. That's always fun. How did they defeat our ninjutsu so easily? Where did that monster come from? I can't believe what happened to the king and queen. I'm the senior minister of Eblen, the prince's heart, but a good man. He went to the Tower of Babel to avenge his parents. I'm gonna protect my mom so no one can hurt her. I'm gonna have a little brother or sister soon. The prince said he'd take care of the, all the monsters. Once he slits them all, we can finally go back to the castle. Um... Huh. Didn't, didn't I do that? I, I'm pretty sure I did that. Incidentally, the bloody spear was gone when I got there. <coughs> He's so brave. Perhaps Evelyn's ninjutsu will end with us. Hang in there. I hope his majesty is alright. What am I saying? Of course he is! And I do not need to talk to naming away. And another bu- Okay. Another potion. Woo. Let's go further into the cave. The prince went to scout ahead, but has yet to return. This is the passage to the Tower of Babel, where Rublicant resides. Hey, it's a box. An either? Hey, it's another... Huh. A tent. The prince went alone. Oh, I called it. It's a high potion. Cave bats and bloody bats, eh? You know what this calls for. This? This calls for... Give me a sec. Whoa. Actually, in case any of them survive, I'm gonna go ahead and scan one of them so I know they're actually weak games. Because I know they absorb lightning, but who knows if they're actually weak or something. That is really annoying. Right, they aren't weak against fire. No, no, apparently they are. Vulnerable to thrown weapons. And arrows. I guess. Huh. So apparently they're vulnerable to fire. Who to thunk at? Not I, I'll tell you. Too bad I still don't have that pla too bad I don't have that fire throw with me anymore. Unless I do. Well, whatever they're strong or weak against, it's definitely not. They're definitely not weak against pain, that's for sure. Which is sort of unfortunate, actually. It's not like he can really do much else. And we're back. Please stop him. Stop who? The. Did I just see another dead body? Wait, what? You know, some of the bats are particularly hard to deal with, but damn are they annoying. They take forever because they constantly spam that stupid attack. Is there... no. So, what was I saying? Something about bat- oh hey, boxes! It's a bomb core, and... I can't go through here. 
Maybe no. Ah. How do I get that far? Well, that's gonna just be. Hey, I wonder. As I was saying. Okay. I'm gonna just cut off here for now. So until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Cast Blue. So see ya.